Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's time to grip and rip. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome back to the channel. I am Jed Lockett. And today we are concluding our box break of this Fat Pack box of 2022 Donruss Baseball. It started out great, and it has unfortunately fizzled a little bit since then. Uh, I got this for $96 online, and like I said, it started out great. And then it fizzled somewhat. Uh, we've opened 10 of the 12 packs. We're going to up, open the last two of the packs here uh, in a moment. We've gotten plenty of these hollow red parallels. And these look really, really great. We've gotten a wonderful assortment of players with the red parallels and I'm impressed with how those have turned out the insert game has been fantastic this bomb squad card of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is it may be my favorite card out of the box so far we got this unleashed of Aaron Judge uh, got a couple of red prospects couple trendings uh, this Diamond Kings number to 2022, a Mike Trout number to 2022, that's a nickname variation. This Unleashed of Shohei on T Otani numbered to 9.99, and our lowest numbered card of an 18 of 100 Max Scherzer parallel. That was cool. Uh, we got a hit as well. We got this Yohan Moncada jersey card as well that was the hit that came out of the box and uh, we also found a Wander Franco rookie card that's the front that's the back and we'll put Wander Franco in the back uh, in front of the Tampa Bay logo there we Got a bunch of the variations. It is a really fun product for all the variety. Where I'm disappointed is I had hoped to be able to collate a full base set and get 20 variations out of this box, and unfortunately that's not going to happen. Uh, of the 280 cards, uh, we've gotten 182 so far. So we still need 98. There are only 60 left in the packs total that we haven't opened. So it's a mathematical impossibility. We have 12 of the 20 variations. We still need 8 of them. And among some of the players that we're still looking for, for the base set, uh, Clayton Kershaw, we've added him to our list. Still need the Ripken. Uh, the Shoei Otani base, we have the photo variation. And we still need the Babe Ruth base. We have that variation as well. Another reason that I'm disappointed is not only did we get doubles, this is our stack of doubles out of the box, but we've even got triples. And the base cards that I get, they go straight in a binder and in pages, and they look good. These are triples. Uh, we've gotten three Ozzy Albies base, three Josh Bells, three Corbin Burns, three Jesus Sanchez's, three Bryce Harpers, although that's not necessarily a bad thing, three Jim Tomies. They're nice cards. They're really nice cards. And some of these I might be able to use for some trade bait at card shows, especially that Acuna Diamond Kings. So it's not all certainly is not all a lost cause but one thing that i probably did or i know that i did is i set my expectations way too high on this 
Uh, I thought of the box as a full box, and that's not the way really to go into thinking about these packs because this pack is its own product because Panini is really good about it as collation. I've watched breaks of the Mega Boxes and of the Hanger Boxes and the Blaster Boxes, and we've broken these. You're going to get an assortment of cards and not get doubles within a particular product. So if you're going to buy a box of these, if you're going to buy this box like I did, don't think of it as buying a full box of 12 packs. Think about it as getting 12 30-card packs, a random assortment of 12 30-card packs that just happen to be in the same box rather than a box of 360 cards. First of all, it's only a 300 card set if you include all of the variation cards into it. So mathematically, you're going to have doubles anyway, but you still have to get the right 12 packs in order to complete it, and that didn't happen. So it means that we're going to enjoy these last two packs. And I gotta admit, after those first four packs, I was sky high. I thought we were gonna do it, and I got overconfident. I bought a pack because I have this pack, 85 Domrus, that's our forever pack, because this was the first baseball cards that I bought, and a guy at a card show gave this pack to me on the promise that I keep it sealed. I was going get a pack and I already bought the pack for this set that was going to stay sealed and it was a hobby pack that I bought uh, at an out of the way card shop uh, Liberty Cards uh, here in northern Kentucky and this is the hobby pack that I bought so we're going to rip this one as well and that's going to end this particular break and we're going to go out in style and we're going to enjoy these last two packs as much as possible. The big thing I'm hoping for, I'm hoping for two things. One, I really want to see a insert, one of the Marvel's inserts. And the other thing I'm kind of hoping for is another Wander Franco rookie. They've showed us that the collation is not the greatest with this particular box. So, hopefully, that can work in our favor. So, all of that having been said, let us grip and rip. We got a marvel. Thank goodness. Wonderful. I really wanted to see one of the Marvels cards. Just to see what, what that was all about. Because... Those look really good. I'll go... We got a second hit! Okay, maybe... Maybe this box has more to give us than we thought. Okay. I Maybe I should reevaluate. Uh, I should reevaluate after we're done here. Wilson Contreras begins. We begin with a stack of base. Tom Seaver. Mitch Hanniger. Shane McClanahan. Another Tatis. I'm going to PC Fernando uh, because I've been getting into the Padres recently over the past couple years. So I think I'm going to PC Fernando, keep him in the background. In fact, I have, just to compare, I have an extra copy of his 2022 Tops card. So there we go. We'll put those next to each other. I cannot stay mad at Donruss. I really can't. These are too much fun. Jordan Alvarez. Willie McCovey. There's the base Acuna. I was hoping for another base Acuna to use as trade bait. So there we go. I'll, I'll, I'm actually really happy about that. Because I need an Acuna for my 2022 top set of all things. Eloy Jimenez. We have... The second part of the pack's going to be 
retro variations mixed with bass. We have a Randy Johnson retro, Ryan Sandberg bass, Nicholas Castellanos retro, more doubles, I'm afraid, Joe Musgrove bass, Randy Rosarena retro, Glaber Torres bass, Tommy Edmond retro, Kyle Seeger bass, Pete Alonzo retro, third part of the pack, the rated rookies, the Diamond Kings, and this is where you're going to find your variation cards as well. And I've showed you a tell in the previous video as how to find, determine a variation from the regular base. The variation is going to have the card number on the right hand side of the back. The base, the regular base, is going to have it on the left hand side of the back. So that's how you're going to be able to tell a variation of the base cards. I haven't figured out as far as the retros, if there's a way to tell. Uh, hopefully you guys can help me figure that out. We have a rated rookie of Kyle Muller, Diamond Kings of Luis Robert, and I hear he's been doing great things. Rated rookie of Edward Cabrera, a variation, nickname variation here of Kyle Schwarber. Again, there's the card number in the upper right. We have Jake Myers, rated rookie, a Brandon Lau, Diamond Kings, a John Heasley, rated rookie, and Mr. Heasley is going to help hide our hit. At very least, it is a jersey card, and we're going to save that card. We'll move Mr. Waltham here, and we will put Mr. Heasley and our hit, second hit of the box, down there right in the middle. Robbie Ray, red foil, Randy Arozarena, red parallel, and a Brian De La Cruz rated rookie. Let's see the marbles. I cannot wait. Do a rapid reveal on three. Here we go. One, two, three. It's Max Scherzer. And that card is... Oh, that is... That and the Guerrero Bomb Squad are my favorite cards of the box. Guys, I don't know if you ever eat those Hormel Completes... But I'm going to start getting those and taking those for lunch. I'm going to have to rip some more of this Donruss. I can't stay mad at Panini because of this. I can't do it. I cannot do it. We'll move Mr. Scherzer. Put him next to Mr. Franco there. I'm still trying to hide the hits. We'll put Mr. Guerrero in the background as well. Next to Mr. Franco as well. All right. The last fat pack out of the box. Guys, if you are enjoying this as much as I am, please smack that like button over the center field fence. Helps me out. Helps out the YouTube algorithm. I don't know if you saw the last card, but we got another really good insert. We begin with a with a retro Ichiro base Brandon Crawford retro Jose Ramirez base Reese Hoskins retro Framil Reyes base Brandon Woodruff retro Logan Webb base Frank Schwindel retro Josh Donaldson and now we're going to have just base cards now. Cal Quantrill, Charlie Morton, Ian Happ. There's the Kershaw base we were looking for. So we'll put him here in the background. Marcus Stroman, Jacob DeGrom, Jared Walsh, Teoscar Hernandez. Third part of the pack begins with a... Diamond Kings, Giancarlo Stanton. A rated rookie of Hans Kraus. Diamond Kings of Brandon Crawford. Rated rookie of Jose Siri. A retro variation. 
Nickname variation, Pudge Rodriguez. We'll take that as well. Ray rookie of Mike Bauman. Diamond Kings, Tyler O'Neill. Rated rookie, Matt Brash. We have a Stars parallel. Rated rookie, Jose Siri. I've said it before, I'll say it again. It may not have the licensing, but Panini with Donruss really has top speed on the fun factor. And it's, it's not hard to see why. Red Parallels, Willie McCovey, Randy Johnson, Vidal Brujan rated rookie, and the last card of the Fat Pack box, an unleashed, and this is the Vector parallel, Shohei Otani. And we got that to go with the unleashed Otani to $9.99. Maybe I should try for the rainbow. <laughs> Again, a really sweet card. Really sweet card there. Oh, I can't stay mad at Panini and for for that. If we get about thirty or more cards or so towards the base set from this box, I'll call it a win. And we got the marbles that I was looking for, and we still have a hit to reveal. But before we do that, let's bust into this, this hobby pack that I bought. I put the cart before the horse, and uh, count my chickens before I, they hatched. Use whatever cliche you want. I did it. Glenn Otto, rated rookie. There's the Acuna. That's going to be the variation. That's the image variation. The number's on the right-hand side. So, yeah, that's... Definitely take that. I don't think we have that one. Uh, Jackson Coar, rated rookie. Ryan Zimmerman, base. We have Edelis Garcia, base. A Logan Webb... Retro, another starry parallel. This one's Paul Goldschmidt this time. And our last card is a blue foil, Jake Myers. This blue foil looks really, really good with the 1988 retro stuff. Oh, man. Well, there we go. We got our fat packs. We got our bonus pack. We just have one piece of business left. Our second hit of the box. Who's it going to be? It's going to be a jersey card, I feel, because it's so thick. And we're going to turn it around on the count of three. Do a quick reveal. So, one, two, three. It's Amir Garrett of Cincinnati. I have to laugh because I'm not even sure people in Cincinnati are shopping for Reds cards right now. Actually, I was at a card show last weekend. And there was a guy who sells primarily Reds cards, had his nice setup, had his table. He couldn't do any business. He was having no luck whatsoever. Oh, boy. But still, we were guaranteed zero hits out of that box. We got two of them. So I can't complain about that. And I can't complain about the variety of inserts, the variety of cards. The card stock is really sturdy, really nice. 
I really like the product. I'm a big fan of what Panini does with Donruss. So I hope they keep doing it for a while to come. The things that I don't like, the collation stunk in the box, but again, I think that's a function more of you're getting 12 packs instead of getting something that's intended as an actual box in itself. And also, Panini's been having a lot of trouble with um, with getting supplies in from China. Uh, the supply chain has not been good for them, and they have also been hit hard and are going to be hit hard by the coming Fanatics takeover. So they're trying to make as much money when they can as they can. So I hope they can keep this going for a while. I really do. Folks, I want to rip more of this. And it's just a matter of finding the money, finding the time, and finding the product. If you think I should get into some more of this, uh, then please leave a comment and uh, let me know. I'm wanting to do it, but there's other stuff uh, as well that's calling my name. I've got some packs that I bought at Meyer that I'm eager to get into as well, and I'll probably do that for tomorrow's video. So... I am looking forward to hearing from you, and please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of this series. Let me know what you thought of this break, and what you thought of these these fat packs. It's one of those cases where your mileage may vary. It really is. It really is. If you if you're looking to build a set, I still say this is a good option. If you're looking for hits, you're probably better off buying a couple of the mega boxes. But either way, uh, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell for notifications. I am Jed Lockett, and I'm wishing you nothing but good things in the cards.